kids, we like them. We're not sure yet. So easy enough. Um, I started with Pinot Gris, TLP, this little piggy, which is a green interference, which is really pretty. Let's see if you can see. See that green, maybe? Okay, easy peasy. The next easy peasy one was TLP Aspen, which is a lighter green, which I really, I'm not, I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone because I'm not really a green person, but I do love this Aspen a lot. It's a really pretty green. Okay, and, and then the other easy peasy one was TLP Enchantment, which is this beautiful purpley, pinky, lilac -y color. Very nice. Okay, so the ones that I made custom are these three. Um, I don't have many greens, so I have to make my own. So what I did for this one was I mixed together phthalo green with cobalt turquoise, and that's what we get here, okay? Then I mixed TLP Nightfall with Matisse Australian Red Violet to get this kind of like purpley, reddy, pretty color. Hopefully it's pretty, we don't know yet. And then finally I wanted a dark green, so I went back to my, where did I just put it? I mixed bone black with that gr phthalo green again, which I just, oh, here it is. I mixed bone black and phthalo green to get this dark, kind of bluey, greeny color. So we don't know how they're gonna work yet. Oh, and what I wanted to do was, to continue with my green theme, I wanted to make a kind of greenish cell activator. Because I don't have that many greens, uh, I thought what I would do is I would mix up my white cell activator, which is the Shelly Art Recipe, which is Australian Floatrol and uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, and, which I mixed up here, this is kind of an old one, but I just wanted to see if it would work. Okay, so I just have a little bit in here, but, I wanted to see what would happen if it would work uh, if I added some green gold to it. So let's see, and this is, um, I don't really use these because they're super thin and watery. Um, this is the fluid, so no. This is, the ones that I normally use is the fluid. This is like the ink, I forgot what it's called. High flow, sorry. This is the high flow, which is really watery. So I just stick with this one because it's kind of works better, doesn't thin out too much, but since I'm using it as a cell activator, I figured I'd give it a go. So I'm gonna do a few drops into the white and we'll see what happens. I've never done this before, so we just don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just looking for a stir stick, which I can't find because I'm not organized. Okay, let's see, oh, is this an ugly, it kinda looks like um, urine. So, I mean, we don't love this color, do we? Okay, uh, yuck. So what do we do, Lisa? Not to worry. Why don't I add a little tube Amsterdam Thalo Green? Now, uh, most Amsterdams work for cell activator darker colors work better. I'm just gonna do one bloop at a time to see if we can change the fate of this poor color. So I'm gonna mix, 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 mix. Okay, it's getting better, less uriny, more limey, which is fine, finey by me. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with this color. Um, maybe I'll add a bit more to Thicken it up a bit. Let's see, how do we like it? It's a little thin and gloops. So I'm gonna add a bit more and maybe a bit more white to thick it up, but let's see. Ugh, you can tell I don't use it because it's like not even coming out of the thing. All right, so we're gonna mix, mix, mix. And this is what you have to do with all your paints, well, especially if you're making custom stuff. You just have to kind of eyeball it 
and, and go back and forth. And when you have your cell activator, you really do have to mix for quite a few minutes. I don't mind this color actually, and I think it might go nicely with the other colors and it is thickened up. So I think we're gonna give it a go. What do you think? It's hard for me to judge greens in general, but it's looking thicker, much better. We don't know if it's gonna work. I'm expecting more lacing rather than cells, which is okay. Because lighter colors give lacing, darker colors give cells. Okay, so there she is. Let's see if it works. multi-bloom or two or one big bloom hmm I don't even know cuz I don't know how it's gonna turn out do I um why don't I do a big bloom and just go for it right and I'll even mouth blow it out so I'm gonna start with my dark color one big 16 inch Bloomy. Now these may be a little thick, but we'll see. So I'm gonna get lots of paint it kind of down. Although I'm not gonna, I don't mind if there's negative space, so that should be fine. I'm gonna top that off with the Pinot Gris, which has a little gloop in it there. It will really shine off that darker background. And next, we will go Aspen. Okay, then I'll go with that mid green that I did. My spinner is not even and it's annoying. Okay, this mid green here, I don't know what to call it since I made it up, but let's see. Okie doke. Then I will do that mix of night, fall, no, twilight, and the Australian red violet to bring in those purples. Then I'll do the enchantment. I also added <clears throat> for my top color, uh, golden diox purple, because I feel like I needed another two paint. And I didn't like um, the green cell active, oh, there's a big blue, hold on. I didn't like that green cell activator on its own. So I'm gonna layer it over the, a white cell activator um, just to make sure that I get nice cells. I'm gonna drizzle this because it takes over a lot. And I'm just gonna make sure I cover some of the piggies. So I don't want it all purple. And what you'll find is when I layer the white on top, the purple will come through the white a bit so it will look nice. Okay, this is a big thing to blow out, isn't it? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do the white and then the green on top. And I hope that it will look nice. Uh, or do I want to do the hair dryer? Uh, no. Mouth blow it is. So we got the white. I'll do a bit of the green. Oh, that might be too thin. I thought it was good, but I don't know. Okay. happening. I might want to remove, I'm going to get a new skewer. Just kind of remove these in case they're quite ugly. Oops, that didn't really work. I'll go like this. Okay. And then maybe I'll remove this. Now I want to think about my edges because I am going to have negative space. 
Or should I just leave them? So they're not bad. I guess, let me start spinning and then we'll see how far we reach, right? And Miss Wonky here. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep spinning. Oh, natural. And because we're wonky, we're gonna just go like this, switch it around a bit. Okay. Then we will go like this. Okay. And then we will. Not bad for a mouth blow. Right? And we will go like that. Nice colors. Do we have paint left? A little. I like the middle. Okay. I think she is done. And there you have it. Not what I was going for, because I did want negative space. Um, but the middle looks nice, the colors look nice, I think. So I kind of like what we did here. Next time I definitely would probably try for some negative space, but she's not bad. Hope you enjoyed, let me know what you think. Have a good day.